You're probably struggling to do more pull-ups. Well, the average gym goer can do about one to six pull-ups and I bet you wanna get it up to probably around like 10 or even more. This video will teach you how. We'll break it down into three parts, the preparation, the strength and the endurance. Let's go. <sighs> now, if you can't do pull-ups, I would suggest we start with some inverted rows. The more horizontal you are, the harder because of gravity. So this will be the easiest. This will be medium. That will be the hardest variation. Do this until you can do a couple pull-ups. You can also use assistance with some bands in the beginning until you get the clean pull-up. Next, let's go over the correct pull-up technique. When grabbing the bar, your hands should be shoulder width apart and you need to grab it with a overhand grip like this. Activate your core by putting your legs straight a bit forward like this. And then when you go up for the pull-up, you want to use your back as much as possible. So you will kind of lean back and then you use your forearms to drag yourself forward. So as you get as far up as you can, then you pull your chin over the bar. It should be like over the bar and a little bit in front of the bar actually, like this. Now I was a bit exaggerating, but you'll see the point. Okay, let's move on to the next part, which will be about the strength. Now, the strength part is where we'll be building our strength and endurance to from the pull-ups so this will go all the way up from one pull-up to about 12 to 15 pull-ups we have three options for ways to train the first one is where we have two workouts that are more muscle building related where you use about 80 percent of your power to do 10 repetitions times three in the hardest variation of pull-ups that you can do so this will be what you will be doing for the two days where you build your muscle then for this option we will also have one to two days which will target the strength which will be how synchronized and strongly your muscle fibers fire when you first decide to activate them in a pull-up the way to train this is by doing fewer reps but higher intensities so here we will have about 90 to 100 percent of your max power but in three to six repetitions so say you can do maybe a couple pull-ups then you will do band assisted with the lightest band you can find for three to six pull-ups. And this will build your strength. In between these three or four days of doing pull-ups, you need to ensure that you get enough rest and recovery to recover your muscles to build them stronger. So I would say take at least three days of rest throughout the week. Now the other option we have is to do a method that's called greasing the groove. Here, we will go down in intensity and do maybe, okay, say you can do five pull-ups. Then every hour or so, you will do about two to three pull-ups so you don't get exhausted. But throughout the day, when you do them many times because there's many hours in the day, your body will build that mind-muscle connection that will be really helpful to level up your endurance. So that's also a method that you can use. And the third option will be the pyramid sets. This is a way to gamify your progress where you do one rep, two rep, three rep, four rep, for example. And then you go down again with three reps, two reps, one rep. So it's in a pyramid scheme where you add one repetition for every set. So this could be really cool to see how far you can get. And it can make your workouts more enjoyable and fun. So yeah, now let's move into the last step, which will be the endurance part. When you start to get into the 12 to 15 pull-ups range, I'll suggest you either start adding weight to your pull-ups or start doing more advanced variations of the pull-up to increase the strength and muscle you'll be able to build. Okay, hopefully now you have all the tools you need to increase your pull-ups repetitions. I hope you found this video informal and helpful. I wish you good luck with your pull-up journey and subscribe for more calisthenics content. See ya.